Hello guys, my name is Kishan and today we are going to look at an Oracle SQL interview questions regarding subquery and not in scenario. Say suppose you are given a question like fetch all the department IDs from department table which are not present in the employees table. So if you get a question like where you have to fetch details from one table based on data not present in another table, that qu kind of questions we are going to handle in this uh, video. The very reason that I wanted to make this video is because you cannot just simply use not in. Okay. In subqueries, when we are asked to find records from one table which are present in your, you know, from other tables or something like that, and we are making a subquery, and if we are using an in exist or a self join or a joining, it is fine. But when you are asked to find something like which is not present in another table, you need to make be very sure because if you blindly use not in you will just end up having no data and there will be a situation kind of that so this is a tricky question where you need to understand the situation first or that particular scenario first and then answer so I'll just show you this table first what I'm talking about I want data from this departments table okay so I have all this department ID, department name, location. As you can see, there are about 27 department IDs, like 10, 20, 30, 40, going till 270. And I have an employees table where I have various departments, say all of them, 90, 60, whatever. There are different departments. If you want to see what all are there, you can use a distinct department ID okay MENT department ID so as you can see all these departments are here 10 20 30 40 and you can see there is something called as null which is also present here but there is no such null data present in the original departments table as you can see I don't have any null anywhere there is no null present so I'm asked to find the departments from this departments table which are not present in the employees table. If I simply write an in statement, it would not return any data. I'll just show you. Say so select start from departments where department ID not in. And if I write say select department ID from employees. If I execute this, I don't get any record why because th there is a null present in the subquery so if your query becomes like select star from whatever table where this not in and if your not in has say anywhere null over here say null 10 20 30 it would not return anything right if it is just some fixed values you will get an output but if you have null you will not get any output because you know null does not stand for anything null can be anything null is an absence of data null doesn't mean zero null, null doesn't mean a space and blank space null means absence of data so when you say not in I don't know what 10 20 30 Oracle says if you don't know what I'm not going to return anything okay so you need to have fixed values over here so if you ha are writing a query where you have you know department ID and which can be null you should always do an NVL say you do an NVL with zero or with any data and if you execute it you will get the output see I get around 16 rows as output so whenever you are using a not in and if you are not sure of this uh, record set which this query will be returning and if you might think that it will have a null value or something or if you have a scenario where they show that there is a null value always use a NVL or else you can do the same using the exist and it is you know there's no need to take care of NVL with exist you can simply like select star from departments okay where exist actually here we don't want so we'll write not exists and we'll write this query I'm gonna just copy it from here but there's no need to write any NVL or anything you can just write simple select one from employees anyhow we are going to do a match 
so it will be like I'll give an alias of E over here and alias of D over here so that I can write this correlated join over here where E dot department ID is equal to D dot department ID so as you can see you get that same 16 records 120 130 40 like that which you get got from not in so what happens in exist is you say like select star from department where not exist and then you do a correlated subquery you join the outer query with the inner query and your joining condition is like department ID present in the employees table with the department ID present in the departments table so that is one way to do it and there is one more way to do it using an outer joint so say suppose I want these three columns that is department ID department name and say location ID so I want these three from departments table so I'll do a left out join with the employees table why I'll do a left outer join is because I'll just write that I'll do this join on the department ID column so D dot department ID is equal to E dot department ID okay and the where condition that I'll put is I'll make all this department ID in the employees table as null okay so get me all the records of both this table which match this condition okay and I make the employees uh, the department ID of the employees table is null so wherever you get null fetch only that record from employees table and do this join and give me the output obviously the left uh, all the records with the employees table ex which don't have null will be excluded so all those record which do not match this query will be excluded from this employees table so once they are excluded only those departments that are now present in department and excluded from employees will be returned right I just give an alias of D over here because you know this department ID is present in both the table so when I execute it as you can see I get that same 16 records 120 130 140 150 like that so this is like doing a left outer join you can perform a right outer join also just swap this table names right then you will get the same thing so we have done it using the in uh, sorry not in and using the NVL we have done using the not exist which is very simple just write this join condition everything is fine we have done it using the left outer join where we have excluded all the department ID uh, in the employees table and selected only that is having null value and then we have taken a left outer join with department so it becomes like take everything from department but exclude those which is there in employees so this will end up into such a formation so these are three different ways to write the same query uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you have learned something new please do like share and subscribe